What is going on you guys? So today what I have for you is just a little custom training pack. Um, I didn't make any of these myself. Um, but I went through Reddit. I mean, I just searched. Literally, this took me a couple of days to make it. Um, boom. Alright. Also recently changed my camera settings, so I'm trying them out. Every time I change my camera settings, always make sure I can do a good uh, air drag first. Um, yeah, for those of you who are curious, these are my new camera settings. Um, so before, the only difference is I had camera height at 100 instead of 110, and my camera angle I had at negative 3. That I'm still tweaking with. I'm going to have it somewhere negative 5, 4, or 3, so I'm not sure yet. Um, anyways, let's get to the custom training pack. Um, so I searched all through Reddit. Um, you know, I've been looking around searching on the custom training when you could search for them. And I think I found a pretty good, solid set for pretty much everything that you could practice. Um, this one also I made myself. Uh, the Doink, which is kind of like... It's kind of like Cherry Picker, I guess, is the best way to explain it for those of you who don't know what a Doink is. Um, basically, it's when uh, you get more speed, momentum of the ball when it's coming at you. Um, here, we'll open it up quick. Um... A lot of pros use this technique because, uh, I mean, they don't really see it coming, or sometimes they do. This really only works if you're playing, uh, you, it's usually better in threes, um, just because in twos you don't always want to be on the other opponent's side of the field. Um, so say, you know, I'm right here and then your team's over there, and then the ball's coming. I haven't done this in a while, so I'm probably going to miss. Um, oh. Oh, well, you guys get the idea. So basically, the ball is coming at you. What you want to do is try and jump at the perfect time. Boop, see how it goes up, and this goes a lot faster. I'll try another one here. Ah, I missed, but you guys get the idea. I also have on the pixel fire for some reason. Don't know why. I think it's like the closest thing to alpha boost. That Mm. Pixel fire, picture, pi bleh 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 bleh, pixel fire, and the sparkles boost are like the closest thing to alpha boost, which I want alpha boost so bad. Um, so I'll show you the uh, code for doinks if any of you guys want to practice those. Here we are. So I'll leave that up there for a second. That's for doink. Um, that's pro out of all of these. The one this doink is probably like the least important um, so now I'll try and go in order from I, what I think is most important to least important um, so this goalie saves v3.2 I would say is a mm, challenger elite rising star level um, so any of you guys around there I would definitely practice this one and again the codes right there um, also a few shots in here are good for, uh, practicing half flips, um, but, well, actually, this one just updated, and I haven't played it yet, so maybe it got harder, but the last time I played it, it was about rising star, maybe shooting star level, um, well, actually, no, that one's probably not the, mo the most important, I would say, um, I won't do it in order, I don't know what I'm talking about, guys, and then, where's so the close call 16 shots i would say is anywhere from all-star to champion um ranked level uh i would say superstar champion unless it's just me who completely sucks i am really bad on defense but some of these shots are pretty difficult um there's one of them i think it's number two or three i'm not positive i just literally can't get it i don't know how um so close calls, this is another saving one, because me personally, I need to work on defense. That's like my, my weakness right now. Um, one that I think everyone can benefit from, and I usually use this for, um, what's it called, warm-ups every time I play ranked. I use the power shots, uh, custom training, and I'll show you guys what this is about. I also use the power shot training for, um, for double touches. I'm really working hard on my double touches. 
This first one is kind of hard to double touch, so I'm just going to do a regular power shot. So for those of you who don't know how to do a power shot, as you can see in the replay, if you wait at the right time for the ball to bounce, as soon as it bounces and lifts up, that's exactly when you want to strike it, and the ball will literally go flying. In like a 1v1 or something like that, if you have a nice bounce and the opponent is sitting in their goal, just fire out a power shot and uh, it'll definitely uh, definitely caught, catch them off guard. Maybe not in like champion gameplay, but Rising Star, um, which is what I am right now in one's Rising Star, uh, definitely more than half the time it works. So anyways, the double touch part of it is, uh, so you want to come, send the ball flying, I think I hit it way too hard, and follow it up. And again, I just changed my camera settings this morning, so don't make fun of me. Ah, close. But you guys get what I mean. Um, so you can use this as power shots, or practicing your double touches. If you can master the double touches, you will be a freaking god at the game. I've made a few of these, but it takes me a few tries usually. And again, or you can just do the power shot. They have, um, that wasn't really much of a power shot, but it was still decent. Some shots, um, you want to, so you want to practice doing just the forward dodge. Oops. The forward dodge like that. You want to practice doing backwards, like so, except at the goal. And then, of course, you want to do the uh, sideways, like that. Oops. I think the sideways, I mean, the backflip one, you don't want to do too often. The only benefit I really see of doing the backflip power shot is um, if you want to go back on defense really fast. So, like, say you do a front flip, right? You know, your car is flying forward and you have to go all the way back. But if you do it backwards, you know, you stay right in place and you can just run right back. That's, that's pretty much the only benefit of it. The sideways shots tend to go a little bit lower, um, so you don't accidentally send the ball flying up in the air. Um, and there's this shot. I'm not playing good today. I literally just got on. I got work soon. But this power shot training I use every single time before I play ranked. Um, and again, I practice the power shots, the double touches. Um... And there's a few more that I wanted to go over with you guys. If you practice, th this is mainly for anyone from uh, from prospect to, I would say, shooting star. Um, but like like I said, which one was it? The close, oops, no, the close call, <laughs> 16 shots. This one I would I would seriously say that it's about superstar level. Um, so let's see, I'll go through all of these. Air Dribs Drag, I'm sure all of you have played this one. It's like the number one on the browse. Um, I mean, you could practice those. Those are definitely, uh, you can learn a lot from those. Ball control. Um, the redirects, uh, which redirect was it? This guy, Christ, Christ, Christo, Christ, 05. Uh, redirects for days. This one is actually pretty difficult. I would say it's about rising star to all all-star level um let me just go through all these <clears throat> so you guys can get the codes before i forget and i'll go through slowly so wall shots if you guys were in the live stream yesterday um it pretty much just has the ball sitting somewhere in the air not moving and you have to drive up the wall and strike at it and try and get it in the goal this is this is actually a really really good one um my friend harmful Harmon. He's at Champion Gameplay, and he saw me playing this, and he was like, oh, dude, I got to get that one. So, you know, that says a lot coming from him, because if you guys have seen him in the live stream, Harmful is a beast. That dude is crazy. Um, so even he thought this one would be really helpful. Uh, goalie saves, we went over that one. There's the code. Rebound, double touch training. Um, pretty much uh, similar to the power shots, like how I went up for it and followed it up. Um what you want to do is like air drag the ball up, hit the backboard, and then try and catch it back into the goal. 
close calls when we went over that. The redirects. Um, if anything, I would say don't worry about the redirects for right now um, until you can get all these other ones down. Um, but it does feel freaking sweet when you hit a nice redirect. <laughs> I've only hit like maybe three in a game. Um, like three like pretty nice ones. Uh, backwards aerials. So this is definitely good for Challenger Elite or Challenger. Um, base. It's a, It's exactly what it says. Um, you fly up backwards the entire time and try to make the ball in. So that's the code for that one. Upside down control practice. Literally the pretty much identical to this one. Just a little bit of a change up. Uh, redirect frost. Uh, that one is just one that I downloaded a while ago. And that's pretty much it. Um, so I'm trying to think which... I'll do one more to show you guys in the actual training. Uh, uh, we could try the rebound double touch training. Uh, or backwards aerial. Let's do the backwards aerial. Since I already showed you guys the, uh, the double touches. I'm also going to be making a passing and a rebound custom training myself. Um, the passing one, you know, it's just going to be shots fired right at the car, um, ex extremely fast. Because I'm telling you, if you're at Rising Star and you could get a good teammate and you guys do some solid passing plays, you guys will not lose. I mean, if you look at, like, Team Iris uh, or if you go on Squishy Muffin's YouTube and uh, see the videos, or, I'm sorry, uh, Torment is usually the guy who uh, uploads all the passing plays, it is insane. Like, just go look on Torment, um, so that's T-O-R-M-E-N-T, -E if you guys haven't heard of him. He's on Team Iris with Squishy Muffins and Lachino. Their passing plays, <clears throat> absolutely ridiculous, I mean. So I want to try and make something like that. Oh my goodness. I haven't done this one in a while. You guys get the gist of it. I'm not too good at this one. I don't think double jumping is the right way to do it. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I think I'm getting sick. <coughs> uh. Oh, come on. I think that way's a lot quicker. Also, let me know what you guys think. Um, I'm going to up... A lot of people are asking to do a half flip tutorial. Um, and fast aerial stuff like that. Let me know down in the comments um, if you would like to see it. You don't have to comment no if you don't want to see it. But if you do want to see a tutorial on um, you know basic mechanics, um, just say you know yeah I want to see that in the comments or something like that. Oh yeah, this way's a lot quicker to get up. Wow. Ooh, got the double touch on him. Ugh. That's actually somewhat nice. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Huh? Huh? I don't remember this one. Oh my god, I'm bad. You guys get the idea. I'm not going to embarrass myself more than I already have. And look at my new... This is my new car. Black Daishis with the hex on it. I think it looks sexy. Again. Anyways, I'm going to end this one. just wanted to show you guys a little sneak peek of some of them. Honestly, guys, I know custom trainings are probably annoying. But if you do all of these, I mean, obviously not every single day. You know, just do it like you would like at the gym. Like legs day, chest day. Not that I know anything about that, but... Um, Similar to that. So, like, I would do all the goalie saves one in one day. And then, like, the double touches of the power shots in one day. Um, so, I'll go through these codes again really quick. You guys could just pause the video to get the code, of course. I feel like I'm live streaming. I don't know why. Well, actually, I do know why. I've been live streaming a lot lately instead of doing regular videos. But um, a lot of people asked for, you know, a big... Um, a big custom training course, you know, just a collection of them. And then <clears throat> all the creators you see on the right-hand side. Again, uh, more than half of these I got off of Reddit. 
And these were all the best ones on there um, for sure. I looked through literally all of them, um, and I checked again this morning to make sure I wasn't missing anything. Um, but these are literally all of them, guys. If if you just practice these for, I would say, like 20 minutes to a half hour, um, you guys will definitely notice a huge improvement. Unless you're, of course, already like a grand champion, then this is just uh, easy peasy for you. Um, but yeah, I would definitely recommend the wall shots one, power shots, um, the close calls, uh, the goalie saves V3.2. Um, if you have a hard time with car control, I would do the upside down and uh, the backwards aerial one. And that's about it. So, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Just want to show you guys my new my new sexy car. Check it out. Oh, actually, that does not look good at all. I don't know why I thought that looked good. This does, though. Anyways, I will see you guys later. I'm probably going to hop on the live stream for like an hour or two. So I, hopefully I will see you guys there. Hope you all have a good rest of your day, night, wherever it is. Much love, guys.